Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And today I'm gonna to walk you through a game day for a professional sports videographer. I'm just heading out right now to film a basketball game for the Canadian Elite Basketball League, who I work for full time. And it's gonna be the Hamilton Honey Badgers versus the Niagara River Lions filming that in Hamilton. So I just wanna show you guys like my setup and what I'm bringing to the game. Then we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna show you how I go through the game day process, edit some in-game edits real quick. I'll show you some footage of me like holding the camera, moving around. And I kind of get a sense of like what it's like to be a full-time working sports videographer, capturing a game and creating moments that are going out to social media in real time. So I've got this camera. I'm a Sony a7 III with the Sony 70-200 F4. This is like my go-to sports videography setup, or at least for basketball. I don't really take this lens off of this camera for the whole game. I've done a video going over my whole camera rig, which I'll link somewhere on this screen right now, like up here or something. So if you want to actually see the exact gear that I'm using and how I like assemble it all, you can go check out that video. But this is the go-to sports videography setup. So this is what I'm putting in my bag right now. So I have the Wandered Provoke 31 liter bag. The camera goes in there. I've already gone and formatted all my SD cards and got my batteries all charged up. I did that the night before. This is the uh, Insta360 ONE R, which I'm gonna mount to the side of the camera. I'll probably be using this a lot to vlog today. I think the audio might not be so good, so pardon me for that. But it at least captures everything and it gives me like a cool second angle when I throw it onto my rig. So that's gonna get in the bag. I've also got a little magic arm. I've got my where is it? I got my Rode Video Micro right here, which is great for mounting on the camera to get some scratch audio or record the game. A whole bunch of other things. You'll, uh, I'll go over things as I'm shooting and as I'm like building out my rig at the game. I think it'll make more sense. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for pre-game. Oh, of course, and I have, of course, my laptop is right in here. Everything that I need to, uh, actually make edits for Instagram in the game. So I'm gonna like go to the media table. I'll set this up at the game, have it plugged in, and I'll be running back and forth from the court to the media table, making edits, going back. You, you'll see. But a laptop, very important to bring to the game. And of course, my media pass, which I will show you the back of. All right, anyways, that's it for kind of like the bag packing pregame thing. Um, I'll see you at the game. All right, so after it was supposed to be like a one hour drive, I'm here in Hamilton two hours later because the Gardner, one of the Eastwood highways in Toronto was closed. So basically I got stuck in a ton of traffic. So I have like 25 minutes, I'll tip off right now. I'm gonna scurry inside, get through probate protocols and like get sorted for that stuff and uh, get to the game. So sorry if I don't film that much, but I'm uh, gonna do my best here. All right. Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go one up a check. I got the message on me, get no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I went the money to power respect, and I heard you know so and so, you not a threat, cause I really know so and so, they like my family, so they gon' pretend that they go to their blessings, so much that don't test. Getting blood up, I'm floating like blood on my check in the bank. They see the number, all of my haters feel one of two ways. Straight to it, no ring around it. You coming for me? We'll see about it. We'll never see you when I get my feet up. I'm gonna be where I wanna feel.
All right, so that was kind of like how I do a first half of basketball. You saw me like running back and forth between like the court and my laptop. So what I'm essentially doing there is pumping out plays for social in real time. So I have two SD cards in my camera and essentially I'm filming on one and the other one is just sitting in the second slot and doing nothing. It's set to like only record photos and not taking any photos. And I get a good play. I remember that file number in my head. And then I run to my computer. I put the SD card in, drag from SD card into Premiere Pro. I already have a color grade and all the branding assets in a Premiere project template. I just set the in and out points, click Command M, export that out. And meanwhile, I've taken that second SD card that's sitting in my camera, put it into the slot that's recording video. And while plays are happening, I'm picking up my camera and recording the play that's happening on the court. And between plays during whistles and dead balls, I'm finishing off that edit, posting it on Slack and our social media managers take it and put it out into the world. So I did four edits during that first half. I'm not really gonna do any in the second half. I'm just gonna wait until the end of the game and then we'll post the game winner because we do a target score here at CBL. So we'll be able to get that very last shot, which goes in and wins the game. And that's gonna go on social media as well. But the second half, I'm mostly focused on just like filming the game and capturing the best moments for use later. And the first half was more focused on pushing out to social media to get people to go and watch the second half. So that's kind of like how first half works. That's the most stressful part of the game. The second half is a lot more chill. That was a great game. Probably one of the best games of the season. Unfortunately, the end was a free throw. It's not ideal, but hey, you know what? Really exciting stuff. I got a lot of content pumped out. And that's basically how I shoot a basketball game. If you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos, just like this one on a regular basis. I usually like don't film my iPhone this much. This is circumstantial. Um, but if you like this video, I think you're gonna like my other videos. So make sure to subscribe. If you have any other questions or there's something in my game day process that I didn't cover, then please drop it down in the comments. I'll get back to anyone down there who has any questions. I really wanna help you guys out. So just let me know. And if you wanna see the gear that I use in more detail, Go check out this video. This is like my camera rig that I use for filming basketball videos, my updated camera rig that is with the 360 camera and all this other stuff. So go check that out. And um, I, I have nothing else to plug. So until next time, <laughs> so until next time, peace.